In this lecture, we will discuss how we can secure a simple Angular app with Keyclo. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notification for new videos. If you haven't heard about it yet, Keycloak is an open source identity and access management solution that we can use to secure our app or API services. Link is provided in the description. First, we need to create an Angular app using CLI. Please follow the instruction provided in the link. After that, we should have a project with this folder structure. Basically, we have an app, assets, and environment folders, as well as index, main, styles, and more. Notice that we already added several folders and files in our project. If you check up my GitHub project. So here we have the core which contains the TS classes that we will use to secure the project. Pages. So we have the, as the name implies, we have forbidden, group restricted, the home not found, secured, which is accessible by any authenticated user, and secured by a role. Basically, so this page is secured by a role. Now, before running the app, we first need to run the Keycloak server. For this demonstration, we will use a Docker installation. Link is also provided below. Here's the command on how to run Keycloak on Docker. It means we are making Keycloak accessible via port 8080 with default username and password admin admin it may take a while if this is the first time you will be downloading as you will be downloading the keycloak image once you have successfully run keycloak next is we need to configure it So Keycloak is accessible via keycloak.org and uh, here's the link for the Angular CLI. And this one is for the Keycloak Docker image. You have instruction here on how to set it up with database integration. Now here is our Keycloak application. I'm running Keycloak on another machine because this one is running on Windows. And I don't have Docker in it. So let's access it. That 6, port 8080. And uh, remember that we set the username and password as admin and admin. Click login. Now, this is a fresh Keycloak installation. And now we need to create our the realm that we will use in our application. To do that, hover on the master link and uh, click Add Realm. If uh, the Keycloak configuration is already available, so for uh, demonstration purposes, I save it under the config folder. Here we have the realm and the users configuration that we just have to import in our Keycloak installation. So to do that, select, hit the select button and uh, select the realm configuration and hit create. Now we have created our Keycloak out realm. Now Next is uh, we need to import our users. So hit the import button in uh, the left menu and uh, select our users file, which is this one. Open and uh, hit import. This should create two users. 
Edward and Carey. So Edward has a role up role and a member of the group user. While carry is a member of up role but is not a member of the group user. So remember that we have an up role user. So in the left side we have this links, we have a list of clients and uh, the list of roles, the groups and the users. One important thing to remember is that in client we will be using the front end and notice that we have asterisk in valid redirect URIs and the asterisk in web origins. This <clears throat> this must be configured so you must set it when you are on the production system. Otherwise, it will become a vulnerability in your system. And another thing to remember is that we have this installation tab. So if you will be using this client, you can select the JSON format and then copy this, this uh, configuration and paste it in your Angular app, which is should be inside the assets folder, as in this case, we have the keycloak.json file, which basically contains this configuration. This is the normal, this is one of the most common cause of errors, having a different secret because you have generated a new, maybe a new key or a new client for your realm. Now to test our application, we need to run the Angular app by executing ng-serve. So here is our application. Now let's run ng-serve inside the projects folder. While it's running, let's check again the configuration. Mm -hmm. I think we have everything in place and uh, our Angular app is now running. After that, we should be able to access localhost 4200 in our browser. And this initial page is the home component, which is this one. So we have a links, we have links. We have one, two, three, four, five links. One is a logout, and this one is a call to an API. So basically, we have three links that we can test secured, group restricted, and secured via role. Now, click on the first link, and uh, it will ask you to log in. Let's start with the user Edward. Password is Edward. Then hit the secured page. So this is a secured page. So this is accessible. The second one, since we have, since Edward is a member of the group user, this page is also accessible. And since Edward has a role, app role, this page is also accessible. How do we secure the routes? So here are the configurations. Secured role. Secured. So it has a can activate configuration, which is secured by OutGuard. Secured role which has a permission role equals up role and group restricted is only accepting a user of a member a user of which is a member of the group user 
So what is OutGuard? In OutGuard, we can see that uh, yeah, it has a can activate for this first menu, which just activates the route for any user that is logged into the system. Then we have this can load for the lazy loaded modules. In the can load, we are using the data from the currently lag user in the key cloak service. So we have the roles and the groups stored in here in the out, out uh, variable. And uh, we are comparing that to the roles and groups specified in the configuration, which is this one role and this one only. So we have various We have various security mechanism here. So if, if it has a role, now this one is checking if it's a member of that group only or except. So this is self-explanatory. I will let you check this code. These codes will all be available in the GitHub repository that I will be providing. Now let's log out and uh, log in again using the user carry. As we can see, the first link is accessible as carry is authenticated. Secured by feed role is also accessible as carry has a role up role. But the second link is not because carry is not a member of the group user. So what happens here is that when it tries to load that URL, it compares the group of the current lag user to the one mentioned in here. And in the permission, we have only. So it's only accepting a user that is a member of the group user. So that's why we are redirected to 403, which is, as in uh, the routing, it's a forbidden component, which is basically this component. And uh, that's it for this lecture. Now for an exercise. I'm leaving you the whole API feature, which calls a secured REST API. Our Angular app is already capable of sending the correct bearer token. You just need to configure the API project, which the link is provided below. So this is an HTTP interceptor, which intercepts all the requests that we are sending from the Angular app. And uh, if the user is authenticated, it's adding the authorization bearer with the token of the currently lag user to the request. Otherwise, it will not set it. And that's it. I hope you learned something from this video. And if you do, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get more videos similar to this one. Thank you and bye.